Less than 24 hours ago, the brand new update for Notability was released. As it is their 10th version of their famous note-taking app, they had to publish something unique. And I can tell you, they really nailed it this time. The features they added, and even more important to me, the bugs they fixed push Notability up the list of my favorite note-taking apps. Is it the best now? I will let you know at the end of the video. So now let's check out what we see in the new Notability coming up there. So we have the favorites toolbar here on the side. We have um, arrows and curves. Oh, that looks great. Uh -huh. That's really useful, especially when you want to create node mind maps. Oh, nice. Okay, so many new design options and they actually added a shop. So they found a new way to monetize. Um, Nochev, they also have an, you know, a Nochev club. And what you get there is everything for free until now. So I don't know if they change in the future, but it seems that um, Notability is really now stepping up the in-app purchase game here. So let's see how this looks like in action now. Okay, let's just open up an empty page here and let's see how this looks like. So we don't see much of a difference. So they just also added the presentation mode recently, which is giving you the option to have a laser pointer that you can use with your mouse or with your Apple Pencil. And it also gives you this tail this means you can mark things and it will disappear. So that's really already nice for the presentation mode. And it was already added recently. But now let's see where the favorites toolbar is. I can see here already is there the favorites toolbar. Let's see. Let's also add the paper into lined. Okay. This is a test. And I still really love in notability how the feeling of the handwriting is. It is really great. It is, I think, still the most fluid uh, sensation. And my handwriting, at least, looks still the best inside notability compared to Goodnotes, for example. So let's now add this as our favorite. Okay, there we go. As soon as we click here, favorites, it comes here on the side. And then we can change the favorites toolbar, right? So let's see if we're okay. We can put it on different positions. That's something I really also like because if you are a user of NodeShelf, then you have the favorites bar only up here and you can't move it around. And sometimes it gets into the way, especially if you use my digital journal. So now let's just check how the digital journals work in there. They recently had some trouble with these. So I will just download my own digital journal to test this in there. Let's also see how easy it is to add to Notability. So I just tap on Notability, create new node, import. That's done. I just have to go back to Notability. And here it is, the, the, the one I just imported. And here you go. So they had some issues when pressing the, the buttons here, but they, it seems they fixed it. Now navigation is now pretty smooth again, much better than before. So uh, let's test with the Apple Pencil. Yes, it works as it was working before. I'm really happy about this. And now they also got rid of the preview because usually when you are using, you were using my digital journal in there, the issue was that there was a preview coming up, so you had to, to tap twice onto the hyperlink. Now it's really jumping just by clicking onto the link and then we can start writing. So that's really nice. Let's see. If you're actually interested in this digital journal, you can create your very own. Um, you don't need to have these lines. We have loads of different formats. You have uh, to do in in integrated in here. You have a uh, milestones integrated in here we have even um, a project manager integrated i will put a link in the description below but now let's dive back 
into the tools bar thing. So that's what I mean. If they would just provide a toolbar here, it was, would hide the buttons. That would be a real problem. But as they just allow you to return it wherever I want it to be, it stays perfectly here. Even if I would be on the wrong page, it's hiding the Friday, for example, I could just, could just can place it here. That's a really nice solution here. Oh, you know, you can even select the color there. That's really nice. And now I can add this to the favorites bar. And now I have exactly the same color, so it matches the color here. That's really nice. Straight lines. Ah, there we go. We have here the dotted line. That's nice. Aha, uh -huh. and it also shows if I would do now the favorites here, then you see actually when I go to a different favorite that it shows the different lines. I really like the way how everything is integrated. They really made a great job here. And as you might already know, you can scroll vertically, but you also can switch to single page. And this means you can scroll horizontally. But now let's see how they integrated this straight line thing. So I just draw and hold. And now I can do this. And now I have, and that's that's really, really nice because I can really change this behavior afterwards. I can style it, I can change the thickness of this. And that's really something missing in a lot of note-taking apps. And this really puts notability in a really good position now as a, as a great note-taking app. This, how do we activate this? Aha, so you just draw an arrow like this and then you hold it and then you can drag it around and then you have it like this. So that's also really nice, really nice solution here. So what about drawing this and then putting this? Oh, that's really nice. This is really nice, I have to say. I have to admit, this is really bringing notability in a complete new position along with the other digital note-taking apps. I mean, look at this. Now you have built um, objects. They added this already a while ago as well. But it's good to have everything in combination now. So I can select this style and I can change the fill here. That's really nice because that's the only note-taking app providing you a proper fill feature. Um, Good Notes has filling as well, for example, but as soon you edit the filling and you change something, you know, you have to outline and you have to fill and it goes apart. But this is really nice. So we can select this, we can change it. This really makes it the most versatile note-taking app. And you see now that it also aligns to other objects. That's also something really important. So if I draw another object here, press and hold, you see I can now connect it and bring it together. It's really intuitive to use this. So let's have a look at the shop and what they actually charge for all this thing because they already started charging for handwriting recognition where I thought, oh my God, I mean, handwriting recognition is an essential thing to have, I think, in a note-taking app. And here we have some stickers, there's one for free. Let's see. Now this looks like plus and here, here we have the stickers, back to school pack and there we go. That's really nice. Really well done. Oh my God, this is really great stuff, right? Following the development of note-taking apps for the iPad since the last three years really makes me realize that all of them have come a long way. Good notes with adding collaboration functionality and Notechef becoming available on Android are just a few features that still makes them unique. Also in Notability, there's still no way to add your own page templates as it is possible in Notechurf and GoodNotes. However, the way everything works and feels in Notability right now makes it to me the best note-taking app 2020. 
everything is smooth and, and reacts just very nice and, and that you can adjust the lines afterwards properly and you have filled shapes that really makes a great combination a mind mapping tool and a, you know a sketching tool and all this what i was looking for in the other apps where you still had restrictions when it comes to this functionality to edit your shapes in a proper way but overall there isn't any better time to start at your note taking than it is now if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time.